Once again, as your bishop, I want to thank you for all the ways in which you, like Christians the world over, have been faithfully offering the worship of God's people throughout this coronavirus pandemic. As I said before, even though we've been praying separately in our homes, often with the support of online creativity and resources made available to us, our prayers have, in spite of our isolation, been lifted up together in praise and thanksgiving in concern for each other and for the needs of the world. We're emerging from yet another lockdown. And yet again, I want to acknowledge that everyone has made great efforts in these times. And I thank you all. Most of all, I want, on behalf of us all, to express our sympathy and solidarity with those who have suffered most since this pandemic began. Now, yet another time in this crisis, most of us have the opportunity to go back to our church buildings for our worship. The doors of those buildings, which once again were closed for public worship for many weeks, indeed months, will reopen in coming days, weeks and months. The pandemic is not over. We cannot be complacent, we have to be vigilant. These are still uncertain and precarious times. Not everyone has been vaccinated. Some may choose not to be. We are still being asked to be careful. So once again, going to church will continue to be a bit different for the time being. Thank you all for the preparations you made on previous occasions and for checking those preparations again and again so that we can safely reopen our churches. All of the preparations that our church communities have been making are to use the message of the HSE so that we can stay safe and so that we protect each other. Everything is based on the government's Return to Work Safely protocol, which it published last year, and which has been implemented in the Church of Ireland's own protocols for the return to in-church worship. The most important thing to say is this. Please do not come to church if you, or if anyone in your household has COVID-19, or has the symptoms of COVID-19, or if you have been in contact with someone else who has had COVID-19 in the previous 14 days, or if you have been traveling abroad recently and have not yet quarantined. Service times may not always be what they always used to be. Check with your local parish or chaplain. When you do come to church, you will need to allow extra time. Social distancing means that we cannot gather outside, and because we have to use hand sanitizer at the door, there may be some queuing in busy parishes. As you approach church and in church, you will notice signs explaining some of the key things such as the symptoms of COVID-19 and about key areas such as social distancing, hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene. Because of social distancing, churches can only hold a certain number of people, depending on whether you come alone or with others from your household. When you arrive in church, you must use the hand sanitizer provided, and please use it again when leaving. In many parishes, there will be the opportunity to use hand sanitizer on your way to and from receiving Holy Communion. When it comes to face coverings, the government clearly recommends that in places of worship, face coverings should be worn. By wearing a face covering, you are protecting other people. Clergy may also be wearing a face covering 
including when distributing the sacrament. Do look at the information online about how to wear a face covering properly and about those who ought not to wear a face covering. You may not be able to sit in your usual seat. Members of the same household can, of course, sit together. Depending on numbers in your church, you may be asked to fill seats in a particular order. So please do follow directions given by your fellow parishioners and volunteers. You still won't be able to sing congregational hymns in church. There may be a cantor or soloist provided the particular requirements are met. In most places there will be music, however. Please remember to bring your own tissues, to use them as advised and to deposit them in the closed bins provided. At the exchange of the peace there will be no shaking of hands, but no doubt other ways of greeting one another from a distance will be found. When you come forward to receive Holy Communion, please remember to keep the two meters distance also. Although sharing the cup at Holy Communion is an important part of our tradition, for now you will receive Holy Communion in one kind, just the bread only. In some parishes you may be offered the Holy Communion immediately before leaving the church. As part of keeping everyone safe during this pandemic, parishes are asked to keep a record for a few weeks of who has been in church, just in case they need to be contacted. Parishes will do this in different ways, perhaps a list or by writing your names on the order of service and leaving it in a designated place. Unfortunately for now, there can be no hospitality after church and please observe social distancing as you leave church too. Once again, thank you to everyone who's been working so hard to get our church buildings open for public worship again. Remember, all of this is about staying safe and protecting each other, loving our neighbour. This is all very functional, but let us gather, remembering what the Psalms invite us to do, Come, let us worship. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Welcome back to church.